Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have created your site, either by using a template or a wizard, you can begin adding pages to it. However, if you haven't created a site yet, you can create a new web page and save it in order to have front page automatically create a site for you. The folder into which you save this new page will automatically be the root folder for that site. You can create a new blank page by simply clicking the New button in the standard toolbar. You can also select from one of many web page templates by clicking File in the menu bar, rolling over New, and then clicking Page. Then, in the New dialog box, simply double click one of the templates on the General tab. You'll notice there's two other tabs here as well, but we'll be covering these later in the tutorial. Before you begin working on a page, you should save it with the name that you want for it. Once you've done that, you can insert text and graphics and works with it as normal. When you're ready to save the web page, you can click the Save button in the standard toolbar, or you can click File in the menu bar, and then click Save As. This will display the Save As dialog box. If the web page that you created was part of a site that was already open, it should prompt you to save it under the root folder for that site. However, if the page that you're saving is not yet part of a site, you can select the folder that you want to become the root folder. Then, in either case, enter a name for the page into the file name field. Once you've done that, click the Save button. Once you save a page with a new name, you'll notice in the top left corner of the work area where it used to say New Page 1 or New Page 2 or whatever number you happen to be on, it will now say the name of the page that you just gave it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.